Hello from Slovenia again. I do the third pour with the same colors. I really like both of them and today I will try to do something different. I will do uh, a straight pour over two flower shaped bottom cups but I will layer my paints differently. In two cups I will do this in this order and in the second one with the opposite order. I will list all the paints into the description box of this video so you can check them there. <clears throat>
Okay. So let's move this aside. Oh my god, how is this looks beautiful in in real just a second just to make sure that you are in frame okay this looks pretty nice but i have to do something otherwise this will stay like something that don't belong here so i will dip it with the balloon of course On the left part, black was the on the bottom of the cup where when I poured, and here was red. So as I said, I will just pour some black around. <clears throat> I already talked about this part quite some times but if you are new if you don't do that your rings or patterns that you port will not stay nice if you will not have enough paint as a flow extender kind of this is the paint that you have to risk. You can use some um, scrape of paint, but sometimes this scrape of paint, uh, it's really not nice color. And uh, sometimes you get some air bubbles or something and then this um, weird looking color popping through and I don't like that so I normally use white or black but uh, if you practicing or something uh, you can use your drip of paint to do this part to help your paint flow so you can use it like but uh, you don't want to have some silicone or something in it because um, it will ruin your patterns too so careful with your um, paints from the drips or scrape if you scrape some paint and try to reuse it okay I think that this part is done I will just try to stretch this a little like this and this side and then I will go one corner but I'm I'm not sure where I want to start maybe here so
looks like a lotus flower. So beautiful. So let's go. this corner next and back wow this is so beautiful and I was a little off the frame so I have to go a little to the middle Just try to walk a little bit with this. just don't like this here so I think that it's it will be better now it's like a fairy tale I just want to straight this line a little bit and stretch this a little more because when you stretch it you get this gorgeous effects and lines and everything. This is just stunning! Wow! Wow, I, I mean love, just try to tour just here in the middle of all these two kind of flowers, wow, what a beautiful effect. I'm I just love this, I have to say. And when these colors will dry, it will be a lot of shimmer and... Uh, wow! Let me take you down for a close-up. So I will go from here where I think that I should start. So this is the one when the black was on the bottom of the cup. I hope that you see all this gorgeous, gorgeous things happening here. And then we have a line kind of and we come to the one that it has red in the bottom, two of them. See this? veins over these petals of kind of flower and all these effects oh my god it looks stunning in 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 real guys i hope that you can see this uh, 
maybe even it should be like this I don't know everyone has its own preference but and all this copper and uh, gold will be shimmering and uh, this turquoise iridescent pebeo paint too so it will be stunning when it will be dry I'm pretty sure wow I love it I love it I love it and I get some new ideas because this looks just awesome doesn't it isn't it I think it's awesome and I don't know which half I like more just gorgeous wow uh, sorry guys but I was so excited about this painting because it's so beautiful that I just keep talking wow gorgeous wow go gorgeous but that's how I see this painting because it's really gorgeous <clears throat> tell me what you think do you like it too or it's just my preference Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.